intro today i'm just going right the fuck into it we got the whole fucking gang here yeah, hi everybody hola hi everybody hello Ciao, everybody. everybody hi everybody what's up what's hello up? peoples hello peoples guys we're all here everyone is properly horizontal and everyone's wearing headphones i'm impressed i'm really really impressed I we're all grown up this. now. Just straight up. Yeah. It's a big day. Monumentous yeah. occasion. I want to yeah. award I want to award Dan for the best looking backdrop um, to, to sit for a video chat. You definitely won. Right, thank you. Mm-hmm. Ye general. Yeah, I would agree with that. Yep. He's I think he built good. an in-home studio just for this moment. <laughs> That's all this is for. I've been waiting for this. So I'm it, I'm glad that it's finally come. <laughs> I'm gonna give close you made time. it. Close second to, to, to Habas, just for your posters. He always gets that, though. And you get cool points because you're just holding a guitar. E. Can you get an amp ready so that you can just play that lick anytime you feel like it? Brandon, they're saying your audio is low. Is low? Uh, it's probably because I'm not close to the mic. Is that better? He's done. How do you? Like that, <laughs> Dan just crushing an apple, apple over here. Yeah, I was hoping you'd do the like, like a shirt buff. Buh, 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 buh. What? Can I? Like the shirt buff for? Oh apple. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's nice. The we'll spit shine, the lick shine. It's good now. Thank you, Porter, for modding my stream right now. <laughs> I'm watching chat as we're doing this. That's tight as fuck, dude. Straight up modding me, fool. I love it. Annie and Ford, we got a new mod in the house. Porter <laughs> Mac Knight. I love that. Kyle, did you have a question? Um, I did, yes. Can I, I, I wanted to be the first to ask 
a Zoom question, unexperienced first time live streamer guy over here. Yeah. Um, is there a way to have all of us like to see all your faces at the same time as we talk or is it just one at a time? Are you on your phone? Yes. So I think you go, there's a, there's a mode in the top that either says speaker or the gallery view. Gallery. Will be. I think it's gallery view. Okay. Um, let's, see. let's see here. Figuring out things. Participants. No, I'm not seeing that, but it is not, <laughs> it's not a big deal either. Um, you just got to tap the screen and then yeah, do that. Let me, let me, screen, let me open zoom. Yeah. Porter's going to, Porter's going to dial you in. Help me tech support, you tech supporter, tech supporter. I'm going to start my own meeting. Ooh. We said that the other day I was talking to, it's either Joey or Jacoby. One of the two, two, one of the people I talked to this week and we referenced you as, uh, uh, he was like, you know, it's probably our, our biggest supporter. I was like, we we're talking about you. And then he said <laughs> supporter. I was like, Oh, he is a supporter. It's perfect. Did you figure it out? Wait, I'm su your biggest supporter? Yeah, supporter. You're you're the biggest supporter. Oh, oh yeah. Okay, I get and it. And right now you're tech supporter. Tech supporter, exactly. Um, hmm. He's figuring it out, guys. Jessica yeah, because I... chat says just try scrolling to the side, and that's what mine does. Like if you look to the side, click. And oh, Jessica. Yeah, there you go. Jessica got there it. There we Jessica. are. Thanks, Jessica. <laughs> Thank you, Jessica. We're in. Now you can see us all. I see all your beautiful faces. Look how cool Dan looks. Dan and Travis, obviously the most comfortable dudes in this band. Just look cool. <laughs> I feel pretty comfortable right now. I, I, I would admit, I don't know if I'm as comfortable as Travis. Travis looks like he's got a very comfy couch that he's it, it very reclined like, and relaxed on. It looks like you're in a music video where it's oh, way bigger. yeah. And like the couch is, <laughs> is bigger than it's supposed to be. You look like I'm. It looks like I'm sitting on your couch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> this this couch really, it's not that big, but yeah, it does look bigger on screen. It's all the angle on screen, like the golden, the, the silver screen. Yeah. In the movie. God, and with and with the prince and is it Bowie in the background too? It's their mug shots. Yeah. Beautiful. Argu arguably, though, the art on the reverse wall is equally as competitive. It's it's the same photos, just their crotches instead. It's just Wait, you're talking about, <laughs> about that? Talking about the sweet baby angels. Yeah, and then and then show them the other the other good one. I think it's above your fireplace. Oh yeah, that's uh, David Bowie's penis. Yeah, it's, that's a, that's a, that's what that is. Oh, see you, you weren't lying, Dan. You got Been it. there, done that. <laughs> you got that made, which is the best part. Yes, I did. Thank that. you. Th Thank you, Vic. Back. That's a Vic. Brandon, you're still quiet. Supposedly. I don't <laughs> Hello, motherfucker. Oh, thank turn you it up that. in stream. Yeah, I did. I turned. That you're should be better. I just turned. I was doing a vocal yesterday, so I had to turn down on the thing. I forgot that I did that, so it should be better. Maybe you should try screaming more. Yeah, just try. <laughs> 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 thank, <laughs> thank you, Dan, and thank you for that apple bite. I love that. That was great timing. <laughs> Dan's making that apple last. He really is. You have, is it? Did you get two? Is it another one? It's the same one. I just I like tiny I little like nibbles. A little bit brown. That's my favorite. <laughs> what kind of apple is that? <laughs> um, it's like a gala. I I don't, yeah, I think Food it's a gala. Granny, granny Chris. Nice. Gala. I'm more I'm more of a granny <laughs> fan, but you know sometimes grannies are you the just green. Just gotta change ones, it up. Right? Green, yeah, green. The tartars. Yeah. Best, yeah, everything best else apple. is a little mushy to me, but best apple on earth, bar none, the honey crisp apple. Honey crisp is is I think number one. It's a vibe. I agree. Yeah, I don't know if I'm familiar with the honey crisp. Fuck with it. I've just been granting. And... It's the most expensive apple, but worth it. Hmm. Also, interesting. Speaking of fruit, guys, this is some riveting shit. Uh, have you guys tried or seen in the grocery store lately Sumo Citrus? It's no. an apple. No, it's a it's an orange. It looks like a super fat tangerine. Encre mm. Abla. Stunning. Pure okay. delight. I would pure delight. I would absolutely I would absolutely make one. Ford says all apples are the best apples. That's not true because some apples are mushy and taste like shit. Yeah. Mealy, if you will. 
Me yeah, Mealy. Yeah, Mealy. The best part about this, the best part of this conversation for Julia right now is that mushy means straight up vagina pussy in German. So she's trying to find a joke about Granny Smith and then someone talks about really? mushy and it just that, that mushy Granny Smith. <laughs> Uh, I don't. Yeah, uh, I love that Granny Smith mushy. That mush. Uh, Granny Smith's mushy. And then also we weren't saying umphal, so she didn't. She was like, oh. Yeah. Umphal. <laughs> what if this was the whole chat? This is so this was fun. <laughs> for an hour. Love talking about yeah. apples with you guys. For an hour. Um, thanks for your suggestions. How do you like them apples? <laughs> Thank you, Hubbus. In the stream. Thank you, Hubbus. <laughs> Um, we'll definitely get to some some questions. Uh, I didn't do any intro today just because, you know, us all together. You just need to get in there. You just need to jump in. But uh, if anyone in the chat, there's a fuckload of people in here right now. So uh, if anyone in the chat has questions throughout this uh, for all of us or sp that you want all of us to answer specific for, you know, guitar gods or bass wizards or, or drum lords. Um, or somebody so, in our band. Or, or, or anyone in the band. <laughs> yeah. uh, just uh, throw it in the chat. <laughs> Throw it in the chat. If I react <laughs> randomly um, and look startled during the stream, it's because I stole this thing that Porter does on his stream where people can, like, drop sound bombs. They're so incredibly loud and shocking. I stole it from Julia, so. Yeah, yeah I stole it from both of you. It's great. Oh, it's turning great. down my volume now. Thank no, you, you for can't the hear warning. It. You can't oh, you can oh. hear it. Yeah, but yeah. if I'm, like. Just nervous. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. It's my ears. For anyone that, um, just a little insight, too, to our band, uh, I feel like anytime we have a Zoom call, um, Dan usually is in the car. Um, he's learned his lesson, and he really, you know, has gotten a lot better in the last two Zoom calls. He's been stationary in his home with headphones even this time. Uh, but usually he's in his car, and we started this, and Kyle was in his car. And I was like, God damn it. <laughs> but, yeah, you know, sometimes you get to run some errands. Yep, got to, following in Dan's footsteps. Yeah. What were you doing? My whole life. What errands were you running, dude? Um, I had just left Home Depot and from Home Depot, uh, I came to my house and I'm, uh, I, Home Depot's become a, a, a daily, a part of my daily routine more recently. I think, I think it's, I mean, we should really, the chat too congratulate Kyle Rosa in, in the purchase of his first home. You Thank know? you. Thank you so much. Are you in the home now. In the home. I am I'm in the new home. We have yet to actually sleep in the new home doing minor some minor upgrades um before getting to that point, but yeah, I'm in the home right now. We're loving it. It's getting there. Painted That's the tight. whole thing. Yep. See, does, does it have that Does it have that new home smell? Um it it does now. It Paint. didn't paint but paint and then <laughs> yeah. new we got some new carpet installed that definitely added to that as well nice the cart your carpet smells is it shag carpet? <laughs> yeah That's yeah tight. tie dye That's tie dye what happens. And shag yeah you know you, you join a big dog band you know and now all of a sudden buying houses hey. next and his phone. name is john c <laughs> someone just dropped i'm in a tree now yeah, I bought a house and next a boat. How many boats do you have now, Dan? Oh man, I lost count at like twenty. Yeah, it's you a lot know? of boats. It's a lot of boats. Someone just blasted the John Cena one and it's so loud but gets me super hyped every time. Do you have that one, Porter? Uh, I do not. I don't know, like, maybe. No, I don't have that one. It's like and his name is John Cena. It's it's super good. Super hyped. It's nice. Anyways, it's really loud. Um anyways, but yeah, so I wanna get some questions. Um, someone just didn't answer, didn't ask a question, but that's usually what happens. Um, said not much of a question, but thank you for suicide notes and butterfly kisses. It was my introduction to metalcore and still one of my favorite albums of all time. You're welcome. You know, uh, from Kyle and myself, I say you're welcome. Yeah. From Kyle and Porter. They had the most. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> so good. So good. So yeah, throw your questions in the chat. If you guys have anything specific, let me know. We're just going to be hanging. Porter, what's that bright green drink you're doing? You this like one? some green drink you've been drinking earlier. Yeah, what is that? It's a kombucha. What, is it, what flavor is it's it? It's like a pineapple spirulina kombucha spirulina. from Publix. It's, it's the spirulina. Yeah, it's the spirulina. so it's like bluish, greenish kind of thing. There we go. That's nice. Like, yeah. This is not an ad. This is not an ad for green for green wise. Your camera has really great focus and come and and 
focus capabilities. Mine doesn't do that. Yeah, it, it's uh, I mean, that's my that's a big dog camera. Yeah, I like that. Um, I hope I hope it worked. It worked. It definitely worked. So okay, uh, we we came into this. I didn't want to have any questions or anything because it's fun to just let the conversation go wherever it's gonna go. Um, but uh, I love. Oh hi Sarah. Um, I love just fucking sitting and asking my own band questions. So we should do that for a second. You, each person in this band, ask another a specific question that you're just dying to know the answer to. Mm. Mm. <laughs> dying to know the answer to. Yeah, you just really want to know what you know something about Travis, something about Porter, something about Kyle. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Kyle, Kyle, what's your favorite design of bounce houses? Oh wow! See, you know what? That's there. There's. I have a long version of that question, but I won't go too crazy on it. <laughs> um, obstacle course, guaranteed. Yep. Obstacle course. But what does that entail? Like obstacle. fire pits. Uh, <laughs> um, it's got a few obstacles. Um, no, we have you got like the punching bag run through with like the tunnels, punching bag vibe, and then you move to the the center of the jumper where you can do you know a few jumps. You've got the climb element where you climb up and then you slide to finish the whole the whole thing and then run back and do it again. That's so it's like a mini it's like a miniature version of Wipeout. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. I thought, I thought for sure you're gonna go with Princess Castle. You know. That's number two. For those yeah, of you that, that's number two. For those of you that are confused by Porter's question, Kyle owns a very incredibly named uh, bounce house company called, <laughs> called Beach City Jumpers. If you're a parent yep. in the Southern California area and need a jumper for your kid's birthday, Kyle. So is- you own all of these as well? Yep. Can oh, no. why don't we film a music video using these? What are we doing? Like we're we're blowing it. Like, yeah, that can we be need blow, we need to blow those up and then we're good let's do it you we i mean you'd get the we would get the friends and family discount um, <laughs> but you know thanks man that's, that's a great. solid three percent percent discount um someone's uh asked any rumors of a tour thanks, anytime Sarah. soon and i don't think we haven't heard anything of tours obviously the only thing we have some festivals booked um and hopefully those pan out um but yeah, I think we're all just waiting. I think we would all love to tour. So just know that when we can, we will. Um, another person asked, this is a good question actually, for everyone. How would you feel if Weird Al did a parody of one of our songs? Mm. I would That'd love be it. great. Yeah, I would, yeah, I would love yeah, it. I, that I, would I loved Weird Al when I was... Dude, the Weird Al, what is that? Weird Al album with the uh, the Jurassic Park the cover thing on it? Yeah, yeah. That oh, was yeah. like the one. For sure. I feel like that's a like a like a high level of respect. For like sure. you get a gold plaque, you get a platinum album, Weird Al covers your band. Yeah. Like I feel that's like that's, that's, that's yeah. That's how you, you know made, you made it. Yeah. yeah. I think is he fantastic. is is he still working? Is he still doing he's it still or working. what? When was the last Weird Al record? <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, I think he's still going. Yeah, like, they did a. Uh, they did a uh, uh, the uh, Orange County Fair, like a whole thing on him, where there was like all his outfits and like a whole thing on his career, like five years ago or something like that. I love yeah. that. I would be into it. Um, the Tormaz w- wants to know if there's going to be a Carry the Fire Night Three, and when, if if so, when? <laughs> um, we don't know yet. We've talked about doing more um, live streams, and we had a lot of fun doing the last two. Um, but I think we've definitely set ourselves up for a caliber of show that we like to present. So there's a lot of planning that goes into that. It's about we got something to cooking up. Yeah, we're Let's cooking put it up. that way. We're cooking up. We got something on oh, a yeah. slow simmer. Slow. Low simmer. and slow. It's a crock pot. Um, someone said, uh, maybe some people already know this, but how did we get to know each other? What's the story? So, Dan, why don't you tell uh, the story? Because it really starts with, with I mean – of people in this chat you i met you first um yeah yeah i met uh you know our original singer alex in eighth grade uh we both had pe together and then we were trying to formulate some sort of musical uh act mm-hmm. 
uh, he was playing bass and singing. I was playing guitar. And we were trying out different drummers and everybody had these fancy drum kits, but everybody sucked. And then uh, through our friend, uh, Ryan Sauer, um, at the time, uh, who was friends with Alex, he said his brother played drums and we should, he was into punk and the same kind of music we were. So that's when we were introduced to Brandon. And um, yeah, we started kind of, you know, jamming from there and then fast forward to um, as far as uh, the next person that would be uh, Travis. Travis, we met through Alex um, when Alex was working at Hot Topic mm-hmm. uh, back in when we were in high school, just out of high school. This is like late 90s. It's like 99. Yeah. Uh, um, I mean, I don't, and um, I don't even think I had graduated. When, when yeah, you were still in, you were still in high school. I think we were we were we were still. Yeah, we were just about to graduate or something mm-hmm. like that because we were still playing Creative Impulse. So we had some sort of maybe it was because of you. We had affiliation with the school so we could still do it. Yeah. But um, Travis worked at um, Hot Topic with Alex and going against the rules uh, of Hot Topics rules where you're not allowed to, as employees, be friends because uh, they don't want people scheming. Um, so uh, they were, went punk and became buddies. And Alex let him know that we were in a band and we were looking for a guitar player. And Travis was like, I play guitar. And we tried him out. And then, boom, he was in the band. And then let's fast forward. Let's see um, Porter. We met Porter. We, kind of, we knew Porter through friends, um, like our buddy Andy Lara, um, who Brandon and myself had shouts played out, in. Shouts out Andy Lara. Yeah, Andy Lara. Uh, we were playing in another band called Dreaming in Blue for a little while with Andy Lara. Pop punk um, band. Pop punk band that featured uh, Johnny Russell from the Cold War Kids. Um, the um, And then, yeah, see, so we met Porter through that. And then uh, Porter joined the actual band, though, um, when our other bass player, um, Chris, um, kind of just wasn't really feeling it, I guess, anymore. And, uh, um slash things just weren't really working out so he mm-hmm. left in 2004 and porter was the only person that we could think of calling uh that met our qualifications of definitely bass wasn't player, which was you have to just go crazy on stage and that yeah. was about it so yeah. we're like and you, have to be, that. you have to be really cute yeah Super. yeah they and got me for this cutest. not not for my bass playing skills just for this he learned how to play bass later yeah. yeah, we said don't we don't care about playing the bass. We just need you to look cute and uh-huh. dance on stage. Yeah. And um yeah, and that's how we all became, you know, the Brady bunch that is a trade. And then we met Kyle who's not in the chat anymore. He left. And then Kyle <laughs> Where did he Kyle go? played in a I don't know. I don't know where he went, but Porter, you continue the story cuz it's better if you do. Kyle played in a band called Thieves and Liars. Mm-hmm. And Liars. <laughs> And we liked them and we got them to play on one of our shows in like 2007, I think. And so then we all became friends through that time period. Buddies, 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 buddies. They all played in Hell or High Water together. Mm-hmm. And here, here he we is. are. Here we are today. Well, he's not here. I think his phone died or something. I'm trying to get him back. Thanks, Bill for Rocks. <laughs> um, <laughs> that was a great explanation of everything. This is a question for Travis. Have you ever broken your glasses during a show? Have you ever worn your glasses during a show? I exactly. most definitely have not worn my glasses uh, during a show because they would fall off my face. Yeah, and you know, I'd have to get a new pair of glasses. I feel like the whole back, the 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 thing on the back too, is not a good, not a good look. You know what I mean? Not a good look. I mean, it's practical, but it's not. Doesn't silent. Milo do that? Yeah, but he's like an actual like rocket scientist, so he's allowed to look <laughs> as nerdy as he feels like. True. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's tight. Um, another question. I would like to know in the future when the, the crisis will be behind us, is there any other country that, other than the U.S. where it's possible to see you and get a meet and greet? All. All countries that we are allowed to. Everywhere. I feel, Brazil. I feel like we'll probably go to a bunch of countries we've never been to and yep. also spend more time in countries we have been to. Like I feel like yep. we'll end up spending more time in Europe and the U.K., um, more time in Australia if we can and go to a lot of places we never have like Eastern Europe, Russia, South America, um, Antarctica, you know what I'm saying? Encinitas. In, yeah, Encinitas, um, Ventura, more time in Ventura. Covina. Yeah. <laughs> West Covina. Yeah. yeah, in particular. In particular. Brazil. Brazil. Exactly. Exactly, exactly. Million dollar question. Porter, wait. Yes, P- Porter had really long hair when when we met him. Did Porter have hair when we met him? He had yeah. really long hair. Yeah. And, and no, Fox knows the answer to that question. He's yeah, just an no asshole. Beard. 
You son of a bitch. <laughs> you son of a bitch. <laughs> Lomian wants to know if you, if you sell a kidney, can you play your can we play his wedding? You could definitely sell a kidney and yes, but then you still have to pay us also. <laughs> so those are unrelated. Oh, we got Kyle back. There he oh, is. Oh, hey. Well, look who it is. What happened, I Kyle? Yeah. I want to see him. What well, the new him? guy just thinks he can come and go as he pleases. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Kyle, you're new. You can just you're already just so comfortable. I'll just leave the chat whenever I feel like. <laughs> My bad. Dead phone. No, it's all right. It's all right. Um, cool. Matt says he's literally listened to a tray so loud that it's actually damaged his hearing. So thanks for that. You're welcome. Uh, do any Me of too. us do any of us have hearing loss? Dan has tinnitus, don't you? I have I tinnitus did, yes. as well. Yeah. So does Porter. Yeah. yeah. Yep, I it, do as well. Wear your earplugs, people. It's Definitely. a real thing. It just sounds like hissing in my ears at all times. Mm-hmm. And uh, it's not that rad. But, oh, um, you know, that's yeah. what loud fans are for. And uh, exactly. Yeah, that's what perpetual drugs. music in the background is for. Yes. Just yeah, always exactly. don't, you don't notice it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's that's got to be a good trick. I never thought about that. That's the only yeah, like putting fans on or yeah, white noise. Dirt. That sucks. I'd uh, say I, like once a week, I, I realize I have it and it's slightly maddening for a moment. Yeah. And you just have to turn something on or figure it out. Like, you don't, it yeah. doesn't, it's not affected all the time. But then also, like, I don't hear as well because of it, you know? So Julie will say shit sometimes and I'm like, I didn't hear you, anything you just said. <laughs> yeah. So, like, you can never, hear them, but you can't good. understand. Which is yeah. never good but to you, say. It's like, to... it's like, it's kind of like someone just kind of goes, why does it go out? Like, what? It's What'd never you say? good to say that to your to your wife ever. I'm no. sorry, I didn't hear you. I just doesn't. I didn't hear you. I wasn't. But it's a great sense. excuse, though. Yeah, it is. It's nice. Yeah, um, it's a nice try. That's really really good. Someone said, "How much would it cost to book a trailer to play at your house?" I think it depends where your house is. If you have a dope house, um, it might be cheaper. Yeah, and you know, like the only issue for us is like getting to the place as a band. And then also like paying our crew to be there. Yeah. But if we can make ends meet, how feel like if you have a cool Bigger. house too that's got like a cool like view, you could probably get us for like only maybe like only a hundred thousand. With decent <laughs> Wi-Fi too. Good Wi-Fi and at it least has two to be kegs. Wi-Fi. At least two kegs. We need two kegs and also we need a third keg of O'Doul's because not all of us drink Thanks. so. So for Porter and Oduls, we need the. I'll do need, an Oduls keg stand dude, for keg sure. Keg stand of Oduls. <laughs> what? What about kinda... a like a com, kombucha keg? Ooh, Ooh. yeah, that's too, that's a much better idea. Thank you. Did you just yeah. start? Because it's like healthy too. Did you just? No, start I've a been business? to a, I've been to a kombucha bar with kombucha kegs in Atlanta. Kyle's kombucha but, kegs. Maybe not, <laughs> maybe not in Vista. Yeah. That's tight. Beach City kombucha Beach City. kegs. <laughs> I like it. Uh, another question. Um, Travis, Porter, and Dan, have you guys ever made fun of Brandon's – the fact that I don't have hair? No, because they're not on assholes one. like you, Fox. If I was yeah. if I was an actual mod, you'd have like a 600-second ban. Yeah, you're That's done. You Annie fucking ban <laughs> Fox. <laughs> uh, did Dan do the piano on the original lip gloss, and what inspired him to change it up for the live stream concert? I'll answer this one for you. Well, I don't know why you changed it up, but – the original lip gloss was done by a girl that I dated in high school named Jamie. And she was the only person we knew that played piano. Um, so she did the original. Dan, we've been wanting Dan to do it live for years, but just never have. And uh, I think you gave it your own little spin, huh, Dan? Uh, yeah. I mean, at the end, I added a little a little something different to it. But uh, I think just in general, like the way I play it, because I – not like if you go long enough without hearing something like you kind of almost like start playing something a little bit different and then you know you realize like you go back and hear the original like oh wait a minute i've been playing it totally different for a while and it's kind of one of those things and i've gotten comfortable playing it that way so it's uh it's kind of stuck it's what happened to every song we play live yes yeah you listen back to the record you're like oh we do that that a little bit different (laughs) oh fuck that (laughs) or or trying to teach like get kyle to learn songs and him learning them and being like oh yeah that's not how we play it (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> and then you spent hours on that but nah um uh ain't love grand wants to know dan how was your fairy tale wedding they seriously considered crashing which is maybe somebody knows where where it was so be careful <laughs> um yeah, it was well it was in my uh my wife's um parents backyard mm-hmm. 
And uh, it was very lovely. We, it was on Halloween, so we all got dressed up and whatnot. Um, it's basically, it was a uh, kind of a, because we're, we're going to do a, a, a bigger wedding uh, coming up here in October 30th. So uh, because of that, this was like a small miniature version of it. And this, you know, because of COVID and whatnot. And um, yeah, we're going to do an even more fairy tale like one for the, uh, the big dog. There you go. It's actually yeah. going to have real fairies and real tales. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's tight. I'm gonna I love me a good fairy. I'm going to do a keg stand. Pin the tail on the fairy donkey. Pin the kombucha pin the keg stand. Kombucha keg stand. Yeah. Kombucha keg stand. <laughs> Side project. <laughs> Dude, kombucha keg stand is so sick. Like hippy dippy metal about like, you know, reusable products and, and greenhouse emissions. That's like most of the <laughs> subject matter for songs. Uh, mm, that's they, perfect. Pound Town 55 wanted to know, what are we doing to stay busy during quarantine? What are we doing, guys? What are uh, you guys doing? Dan? Dan been the, visiting Pound Town, man. Oh, hell, oh, hell yeah. What have you been doing? <laughs> Everyone knows what I've been uh, doing because I'm on here. This is what I've been doing, spending time with my family and twitching and playing music until I can't do that right at the moment because my hand. Dan, you tell them what you've been doing. Um, I've been working a lot. I um, make T-shirts and stuff, so yeah, I'm doing a lot of that. Mm-hmm. And but aside from that, because it's uh, not the most exciting thing to talk about, but I like building Legos. I've been building a lot of Legos recently. Not just any Legos, though. Uh, Lego ships in particular. I have a thing for like old big sale Lego ships. That's tight. And I build them. Yeah. That's tight. How long does it take? How long would? How long does it take you to build like a like say a thousand piece ship, Lego ship? Thousand piece. Um, Four minutes. I, 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 I mean, <laughs> it's it probably takes a few hours. I mean, like I break it up. It's one of the things I have a setup um, where I have a table and all my stuff where I can spread it all out on there, and I just kind of chip away at it here and there. Every once in a while, I kind of sit down and just build for you know fifteen minutes or half an hour or whatever, and. Um, just chip away at them. And then, uh, yeah, I, and then I go on the internet and chip away at trying to buy everyone that I can find online. <laughs> and um, it's becoming a account. new, yeah, it's become a new weird obsession. And I'm building shelves in my room here uh, to accommodate them because I have nowhere Uh-oh. to put them. Uh-oh. Yeah, well, I was yeah. say, what do you do when you're done? Like, at what point are you like, I don't know where to put these. You got to buy a bigger boat. You need a bigger house. Yeah, and then I'm getting some big ones. I mean, most of the ones that I buy are in the two to three thousand, you know, plus uh, piece range. So they're uh, they're not small. You should do like an art show when you do like enough of them and just sell them all. Dan Jacobs Lego ships could be a vibe. T- ten thou each sold yeah, they're out. They're already I mean, they're already assembled. Yeah, sold they are. out. Yeah. So the back of the bus is going to be Legoville from now on on tour. Uh, I don't know about on the bus, but you know, probably Ukuleleville or yeah, Ukulele. Kyle, what have you been yeah. doing? Um, I more recently, like I mentioned earlier, have been just working working on my new house. Um, but before that, I was writing a lot. I was in the the home studio, riffing and writing. Um, not necessarily for anything in with not with like a ton of intention but just for fun so that's been good i kind of had a little bit of a slump of not writing a whole lot and covid encouraged me to get back into it so i just imagine you writing for like four hours and then just deleting it (laughs) (laughs) "Mm." yeah next next porter i actually had the pleasure of uh i had the pleasure of i wrote a reggae song the other day uh and recorded it at mr joe bradford's and was graced by the presence of mr kyle rosa playing drums on it Yes. Yeah. I love that. I have yeah. the honor of stopping by to rip some reggae drums, which I haven't done in maybe ever. <laughs> yeah, I've fun. never written a reggae song, so it was it was a, a beautiful thing. Can, uh, can as, we uh, hear this song? Uh, yeah. Well, not yeah. Like right now, but like at some yeah. point, can we hear it? Fuck these people, but but <laughs> yeah, I'll send you the uh, I'll send you the link. I'll be honest, the whole thing is you know there's the band Revolution, mm-hmm. okay. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of the band and I wrote this song because I thought it was a revolution song. I thought it, I was in, I was gardening and this, this hook popped into my head and I'm like, oh, this, this is, I must be stealing this idea from a revolution song. That's what it's gotta be. So I went and I looked through all their songs. 
and I couldn't find it. And I'm like, oh shit, this is this is something I created myself. So I went and demoed it out and uh, actually sent it to Revolution. And um, unfortunately, they are just completed a new record, so I'm gonna ah. have to wait. I'm gonna have to wait. But they they uh, you know they thought the song was pretty cool, so That's you never know. Somebody's somebody's gonna want it. So I send it to I Dirty Heads it. instead. It's, it's so catchy. Yeah, just, yeah I'll, just... I'll send it to you guys after this. I'll give you guys a little text. You can peep it. That's tight. Okay, Porter, what have you been doing? I've been doing a lot of design work. Um, just miscellaneous freelance stuff with one of my best friends. And that's literally consumed almost 90% of my time. Like the moment COVID hit, my friend was like, hey, are you free to do some work? And so since then, I've been doing like re- weirdly corporate stuff for like Nutribullet and Johnson and Johnson and you know it's been really really busy this year and I started doing Twitch as well uh it's been very very fun hello to all the people that follow and subscribe would you say and that yeah. would you say of the 90 percent the remaining 10 percent at least eight of that was spent driving cross country multiple yeah. times I've, I've drove back and forth across the continent three times oh, uh, yeah. last year to do things with the band and yeah yeah that's about it a lot of art stuff. Yeah. A whole lot of art related things. What about you, Habas? Wake up from your nap. Uh, <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> I've been making music. Mm-hmm. Uh, I've been uh, playing video games. Yep. I've been trying to get my hands on a PS5. What games, Habas? Or game? Uh, I just finished Assassin's Creed Valhalla way too long of a game mm-hmm. and uh now i'm on to watch dogs that's tight ha- have that- you been sculpting those guns too have you been pumping iron a lot uh yes and no because gyms are closed yeah oh i mean they're they're open but they're like uh only outdoor that's a thing yeah oh yeah oh, yeah, yeah. I've seen them everywhere. Twenty huh. Four Hour Fitness in um, in Simi Valley is a, has like an outdoor area where you can do. There's like equipment out there to work out as well as like you can run and do like kind of jungle gymy stuff. I was to say I was like, do people know you can run? Any, you can run anywhere. You don't have to go to their outdoor section. They have, but they have obstacle courses. And Kyle knows all know. about that. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna. That's my next. That's my uh, my next business venture: outdoor gym, obstacle course, jumpy castle, kombucha kegs. <laughs> I like that. Uh, everyone said pretty much that a lot of us said that we were writing. So, which leads us to another question: Are you guys working on a new record? Um, no, we just wrote "Save Us," and that's actually the last song that anyone is gonna ever hear from the band. We're gonna write it out for as many years as possible. Bye. Um, yeah, but then late though. So late. <laughs> uh, no, but we've also been working on new material. Um, I think um, a bunch of the new music that we've all spoke about doing has been for Atreyu. Um, but you'll hear more about that at some point. Dan L. Chucker wants to know, this is a good story. Where did you get the idea of the bloody guitar? And that guitar is sick. You mean... That this one, guitar? yes. That guy, yes. So, um, so this guitar, oh. I got the idea from... Um, a Motley Crue photo shoot uh, that was in a book called The Dirt. Mm-hmm. And this photo shoot was probably something, was something they did in the eighties, but they um, put it in the dirt and the dirt, if you've never read it, it's a great book by Motley Crue. It's really interesting. A lot of crazy tours of the road. Um, but I saw in the shoot that Nikki Six was, uh, had a warlock base on him. that was all white with black binding and he had blood all over himself. And it was dripping down the base. It wasn't painted on it. It just looked that way. And I thought that was, pretty cool and would be neat to have a guitar painted like that. Uh, so, you know, when I was uh, working with ESP, I had them make a guitar that looked like somebody had been killed with it. That was the instructions. That's tight. Uh, yeah. f- fun fact. I mean, I've told you this, you know this, and you might've done the same thing, but I, I hung out with Nikki six one time and I told him about your, that same story. And he was like, that's fucking cool. He, liked, it. he liked that. Um, and then I what happened? Did. I peed next to him once, but how? What was he? What was he working with? You peed I mean, on him I, once. You know, I was trying to get that little kind of peek out of the eye, just, <laughs> just to see. Just you know, to know. But, just to know. Just to know. You know, it's nothing. You know, nothing weird. Or that. Just, yes. 
It's not a no. Yeah. What Dan if you did, asked, Dan he probably would show you. Yeah. What Dan That's didn't true. mention was that it wasn't in the bathroom or anything. Dan just like walked up next to him and just started pissing. <laughs> yeah. Dan was peeing next to <laughs> him. Like, he wasn't peeing next to Dan. <laughs> yeah. And I was, I was like a dog when going to the bathroom. I just tried, stared at him and tried to make eye contact with him to make sure he didn't. He was do just outside I... reading a book. And you just started whispering his name, Nikki, 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 Nikki. Hey, hey, hey. What do you think of this? Um, someone asked, what songs were you surprised uh, made the set list for the 20-year tour? And what song were we surprised didn't make it? I completely forgot we even did a tour. Yeah, I don't even remember. My brain, like this last <laughs> year is just... I don't remember the set list. I do remember, you know, I, don't, we, I don't think when Tour 1 did a tour made for it. this? I don't think when Tour yeah, 1 I was, made That it. is true. I was shocked when Tour 1 did not make it. Yeah. That was the first tour we haven't played it since Let's Sales came out. I feel like. Yeah. Um, Dan, they said you should do a Lego guitar. Why don't you have Kiesel um, do a Lego guitar? Um, I've been thinking about it. I'm trying to think of if I was to do that, how I would go about it, though. So it's, uh, you know, functional in one way or another. Couldn't you just dip almost... one of your ships in resin and just have a guitar? Like, <laughs> yeah, couldn't you like build it out of Legos? And, yeah, dip it in resin, and then they could just like file out the holes for like the electronics and shit. Uh, you could, the only problem with it would be the weight aspect of it. You get really bad neck dive. Uh, so I'd have to just counterbalance it by like my guitar has a, uh, my Kiesel guitar has a counterbalance weight in it to, to balance it out. It would just have to be like loaded with weights to make it like have weight. Yeah. So it'd probably be something where you'd have to build the guitar out of wood or something that's got weight and then put Legos on it, whether it be like, um, you know, like like the flat piece of Lego, like it's a big flat like base chunk that you can kind of start and build stuff on. You maybe kind of look like that where you could put that all over it and then I could just add characters or whatever I to and from it if I would like kind of thing. I think there's definitely something to think about here. You know what I'm saying? It is. I've got a lot of crazy ideas for guitars though. So that, that one, I'm, there's some more crazier ones that are uh, um, higher up on the list at the moment. Yeah. Um, but, they got um, some work to do. Yeah. They definitely have some work to do. Travis, uh, are are we going to get new fake figures music in the future? Yes. Uh, that's actually what I have been writing for mm. during that's, this pandemic. That's tight. So I've got, I've got about seven songs in the can, hopefully maybe another four or five. And uh, yeah, see how it goes. Might not, might not put any of them out. Just might... Oh, I'm gonna put him out. I'm yeah. gonna put him out. I'm gonna put him. He puts out. He puts out. This is another question for Travis. I want to know what Travis thinks about on stage because the entire time, he looks like a calm, precious Care Bear. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> what are you? Th- <laughs> what are you thinking about when you're on stage? Is it the? Is it the show? Or are you like hot? Your hot tubs, bicycle, Actually, cheesecake. cheesecake. <laughs> Sorry, carrot cake, sorry, carrot cake. Carrot cake. Carrot cake. Sometimes I am concentrating very hard on what I'm playing, and other times I'm just not there. Sometimes <laughs> I, I've literally forgotten that I'm on stage. Where you're at, yeah, good, I don't know where I'm Playing at. in front of people. <laughs> He's like, uh, did I leave my lights on at my house? Shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, especially during, a, like, summer festival tours, there's been times where we've been on stage and like in the middle of a set and I'd be like, I wonder what's in catering today. I'm oh, hungry. Hungry. <laughs> you, have you ever seen Travis on stage going? He's thinking about catering. Yeah. yeah. I like to eat. That's good. Um, Travis, uh, one of our viewers, Shay, th- says he may be able to help you out, out with getting a PS5. Shay, message me. Really? Message me and I'll connect you because that would be tight. That would um, be tight. What's it called? Uh, someone else said you should, Dan, you should talk to Lego and see if we can get like a Dan Jacobs Lego set made. Um, well, I have this new merch item. Dude, Lego set. A yeah, tree Lego, live Lego, pipe Lego Dan. set. Oh, look at Lego pipe, Dan. You could smoke him. Lego pipe, Dan. Why don't you put that, little... put that in your Dan and smoke it? Dan is in a little <laughs> hole in there. You can smoke out of my tootsies. Do you smoke weed? Um, I like, I like to get high on the ganja. 
No, I you don't. know, I don't smoke. No, I don't. Smoke no, weed. no, no. But uh, yeah, <laughs> that's tight. Lego that's down. Actually, that's actually really cool. I'd like to. I'd like to use that. It's nice. I don't smoke weed very often, but I would out of out of your foot. Yeah, I would. You should. I, and I will. <laughs> Good. <laughs> you guys want to keep you going? Better. Yeah. I might, I, I or may. else. I might. <laughs> Oh, that's fucking tight. Oh shit, smoke a dank dank. Yeah, smoke a dank dank. Um this is a fun question for people that um this is fun because it can't get too descriptive, but this just makes people mad. And I like that. What do we all think of the new music we've written? Without saying too much. How do we all feel? Personal opinion of the new music that we've written. Hmm. Um it's a tan. I need mean, a topic. It's epic. I, it's I terrible. It's yeah, I'd bad. say it's epic. <laughs> it it's, is. uh, I get, in all um, seriousness, it's, it's one of those cute, things it's that, cute. yeah, it's very, in all cute. seriousness, it's one of those things that, like, I couldn't stop listening to it once we got done with it. And I feel like it's genuinely the best thing we have ever created. That being said, I always feel like that after we write a record, but this one feels like it's just a couple legs up. I listened to it last night. I'm still listening to and? it. It was uh, all right. All right. It was all right. I skipped around. I skipped around. Um, yes, the record is all with Feldman. Um, but yeah, Kyle, how do you feel? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, you like our, you I like mean, our older stuff, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Play more before of the we went shit, pussy. Man. Yeah. Kyle yeah, likes, you... Kyle liked us better before we went pussy. He's actually going to quit soon. <laughs> because because of that <laughs> i was all in i was all in you know really excited for the opportunity but then i heard the new stuff i was like mm. <laughs> no for real it's incredible i love it it's yeah it was really cool to to hear through the process too because i was fortunate to to get my foot in this atreyu door whilst they were working on stuff so to hear the process and and mixes and stuff like that was really cool but yeah, it's heavy, it's catchy, it's it's I can't wait to play this shit live is is the problem. <laughs> yes, yes, a lot so of those. Hopefully we get to do that. Yeah, exactly. I like this uh this question too. What is your personal favorite Atreyu song that doesn't get the respect you feel it deserves? So like essentially your favorite sleeper. For them it was Stronger Than Me from Long Live, which was just on mm. Record Store Day, wasn't it? I wasn't even on Long Live, was it? Stronger than me? It was just like the, the No, B-side. it was like a B side kind of Which thing. that's a very cred thing for you to say. The B side is your favorite. If you're honest, then that's fine. What's a, a train think... song that's like sla- that was too much of a sleeper for you? Your private war for me. Hundred percent agree with that. I love that song. Hundred percent agree with that. Uh um, I rediscovered that recently. hmm Yeah, we were chatting about Death Grip and then like two days later Kyle's like, yo, Death Grip's tight. <laughs> yeah what was the other one i said on that one my own uh my your fork in the, my fork in the road yeah that yeah. yeah that one too yeah you know what the, one, uh, one for nevada's me. grace our sixth story is what you said i think oh yeah our sixth story nevada's oh, grace. we played that on the 20 we played that on the 20 year yeah didn't we that was um, just, that was a shock one for me that one will be another fun. one oh sorry go b so that one will be fun to play now because it's impossible to play and sing at the same time so that'd be a lot more fun for for me now. Nice. Yeah. What are you gonna say, Kyle? Yeah. Um. Oh, so others may live is is one for me that is a B side, right? It was kind of just like not really released. Like it was the first song we put out before, when we came back from the hiatus, but like it was only available on our website. It was never on iTunes or anything until we put out the 2.0 of In Our Wake. So like five okay. years later. Yeah. I remember, I mean, I know you guys played it um, after, I think you played it a few times on the long, or uh, yeah, the long live cycle. Mm-hmm. And I and I was working for you guys, drum teching, and I always loved that song. Yeah. That's it's a good definitely one. one that, yeah. Dan, you said Nevada's Grace? Yeah, that's one of those ones. The uh, got really powerful lyrics to it, and it's just, uh, there's some great melodies. Just uh, It's just a different song for us, too. So I think... Uh, one that's always kind of stuck out to me that didn't really get much attention 
I can absolutely agree with that one. That's like one of my favorite songs on the curse. Yeah. That song. I think that um, as far as old songs, I would agree with Nevada's Grace. I would also um, say for older stuff, um, um, the song that Ephraim's on. What's that song called? At least I know. Oh, at least I know. I'm a sinner. 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 At least I know. I'm a sinner is one of the is such a fucking cool song. I love the guitars. Like yeah. I love I love all that shit. As far as newer shit, I think that um, Paper Castles is one of the biggest Ooh. sleepers on In Our Wake. I think that that one is like. If, if given more attention would have been massive um terrified too is another one that i feel uh that song is excellent i wish uh you know we could just put every song to radio or something just to give it you know some sort of chance but uh yeah. it's funny i don't think i've listened to it in like 10 years but i remember coffin nails being awesome coffin nails is tight it's funny because yeah. i feel like we everyone had mixed signals especially kyle about congregation of the damned um everyone like we did that record and it was like it's cool and then everyone was just kind of like next like our band was just ready for you know what i mean like we all went away after that um congregation and long live weren't at 20 years anniversary at all neat. they were not represented no they're the lesser of our favorite albums but a lot of people always reference songs from that record so i've gone back mm -hmm. and listened to it more recently and it's like coffin nails is dope lonely is dope um uh, lonely wait for, great. You, wait for you is dope any anytime Dan Dan comes with a freaking power ballad, it's always good. Hey, hey. It's true. What about you, Travis? <laughs> uh, yeah, Nevada, Dan uh, brought up Nevada's Grace, and I agree with him. That song's uh, really cool. I don't. We've never played that live, have we? Uh, we did for the or, uh, that one the, show, the first ten year. Oh yeah, anniversary. Yeah. That was it. Uh, okay. Yeah. Um. It. Yeah, that one I wouldn't mind uh, maybe breaking out at some point in the future. Um, yeah. Soothers may live. Soothers may live is tight as fuck for sure. Yeah, but Kyle the brought that up. Squeeze is another cool one. The squeeze. Oh, I was like, what the, the squeeze like, is what dope. The hell yeah. song? Soothers may live. What the hell? Is <laughs> <laughs> what the what what? Uh, what? I love. I love the squeeze. The squeeze is such an under the radar song. Yeah. Like you can't even listen. You have to like find it on YouTube. That's like, it doesn't exist for some reason. It's like hard to find. Yeah. Is it not on we a recorded record? recorded that at, um, at what's his name? Uh, who's the dude that did Death Grip? Josh uh, Abraham. Josh Abraham. Abraham. Yeah. Didn't we, do, we were about to do Lead Sales, but we recorded that at Josh Abraham's or something still or something it, i feel like right we did it after lead sales because we needed like b-sides or something we needed like extra songs so we went in and did the squeeze like after the fact and ah. then we also went back with same thing I mean, it was with um ryan not josh obviously we went back in with ryan williams and did we did the squeeze and then we did those cover songs all right thank you but the cover songs were just were just me and you yeah straight up weren't they dan was in like thailand Porter was somewhere, yeah. and then like it was I me was and Travis. Europe. Yeah, it was me and Travis, and then like everyone came in and like finished stuff. Which you could tell it doesn't sound like it's everybody. <laughs> it definitely sounds like yeah, it's awesome. No, I agree though. That's 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 a the squeeze would be tight to play live. It's funny because it's one of those ones that like, I think from a, a band perspective, so that like fans can understand that like a lot of time, fans are like, oh, play like insert deepest cut possible here like you never play that song and it's like oh that's true and like oh maybe people want to hear that but then we would play that song and it would be fucking snoozeville at the show mm -hmm. like every it's like all those ones that are like deep cuts unfortunately just don't get like the general population going because they don't not everyone's familiar so like unless there's like 30 or 40 people you know committed to starting a ripping pit during those deep cuts the energy is going to be snoozeville you know what was a shocking snooze song? Her portrait in black. Remember, we were like, we were like, let's play that that one tour, and we played it, and nobody cared for like three nights in a row. We're like, I guess we won't play this anymore. But again, too, one of those ones that everyone talks about all the time. Like, they're not, they're not gonna be about it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> bunch yeah. of posers. Bunch of fucking posers. Our fans are a bunch of fucking posers. <laughs> I love uh, it. Guys. That's the clip. That's the clip from this. They're listening. Yeah. They're, they're, oh, shit. They're here. They're here. They're listening. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, no. So when, does, when does this feed start? 
Yeah, when is this? Are we live now? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're going to need to edit this out. Yeah, we're going to edit this out. <laughs> uh, I did the story of the year podcast the other day, and, and Adam's like, oh, it's cool. Like, I always go through and edit stuff if, like, conversations get weird or you fumble, whatever. And all I could think about is their live stream, which did you watch their live stream at all? Any of them? They're, they just said the most ridiculous shit the whole time. Like, within the first three minutes, they were talking about, like, like one of their mom's vaginas and, like, what? Like, off the wall, like, what the fuck are you talking about? But that's just the dudes in Story of the Year. I was like, and all I could True. think was like, yeah, I, I'd imagine you might have to censor this a bit. <laughs> you probably have to probably have to take care of some of the stuff that gets said on this in this podcast. But it's good. Someone commented, said that they thought that Clean Sheets was an underrated cover of ours. We've been trying to get away from Bon Jovi for 20 years, and it will not happen. We've covered The Descendants. We've covered Faith No More. Like, didn't uh, 20 years not have Bon Jovi either? That's the first set we haven't played Bon Jovi. That was oh, yeah. awesome. Yeah, it was great. That Please was really, don't. Really great. I don't want to play it anymore. Yeah, it doesn't. It won't leave us alone. And it's great. It's a party song. And we and I don't hate playing it all the time. But it's one of those things that I don't understand how it's still around. To I be honest, I just want to play a show. I'd fucking play it 10 times in a row if we could just play a show. We should do. That's the first show back. Bon Jovi cover Ten times. 15 times in a row. <laughs> Acoustic version. We'll play it in all different styles of music. Yeah, Latin, yeah. reggae, Ooh. punk. Yeah. This is my dream. R&B. Yes. We need to put out an album reimagined in each different style. Yeah. There's we, can, actually, we can cover it all. Another thing that makes me want to play shows again, too, is there's actually multiple videos on YouTube of us playing songs live, uh, punk versions of songs live. Like, we'd be just on stage like let's do the punk version we did like a punk version of x's and o's like but just like live at a sold out show hmm i do remember doing that once or twice yeah there's video of it on youtube it's really funny and the versions are really good yeah hmm. it's nice one of them actually is funny i was watching the day because it was when travis you couldn't get into canada for some reason like last minute you couldn't get we couldn't get shit sorted for canada so joey was guitar teching so joey had to like learn the set and play in Canada. So Joey's playing guitar, and Kyle, you're drum teching. Yep. yep. <clears throat> I was there. Those are uh, interesting Shinfo facts about the video I saw. So, so, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. Does anyone else have any more questions? No, uh, we don't want to hear it anymore. No more. We all oh, go to your California shows too much. Yeah, 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 yeah. We want to play a show. We get it. We want to play a show. Um, someone says should, we should do – will we do a uh, – a Beach Boys cover. I think Dan would really enjoy that. Mm, I do like the Beach Boys. Yeah. Um, Shay said, do we have a song that you're burned out on that you don't care to play anymore? Uh, let's we go. We went over that. We did yeah. Bon Jovi just now. We didn't go over the, the burnout song, though, that I could go without, other than Bon Jovi. I Travis, think I know what you're going to say. Travis, you go first. I don't want to go first. Um. Well, yeah, Bon Jovi is definitely on that list. Uh. You know, if if right side of the bed took a break for a little bit, I wouldn't mind. No disrespect, Dan. Love you. <laughs> Love right side of the bed. I'm with I'm with Travis. We've just played it every show since it's been written. I've never not played it mm -hmm. since I've been in this band in for however many years, sixteen years. Yeah, seventeen Kyle, what, years. <laughs> what song are you burnt out on, Kyle? <laughs> <laughs> All of them. Dan, what about you? None of them. Um, he's know. just he's just fucking perturbed. He's like, yeah, I'm just like I don't know all of them. Yeah, all I of them. I guess I can't think of because you guys just fucking are so disrespectful to me. None of them are reggae songs. Yeah, so. yeah, that's yeah, <laughs> that's that's really what it boils down to. At what this it boils point. down to. Someone said Atreyu needs to cover H O H. H O H needs to cover American Gentleman. American Gentleman needs to cover Atreyu. It's just a Brandon Saller, um, uh, what is it? Human centipede. Ugh. That would be bad. I left again. I was out. <laughs> yeah, Kyle, that was too much. That's Kyle's what he burnt drew out on this conversation. Um, if you were stranded on a desert island with an iPod that had an unlimited battery, so you could have, but you could only have three artists, who would those three artists be? That's a good question. It is a wow. good question. Unlimited battery, but only three artists. So this means you could have their full catalog. Can it be an I artist, know. or can it be like can now one be an artist? <laughs> <laughs> I'll give I'll give that to you. 
a compilation. I'll take, you know, would maybe help. I want just give me three of the nows and let's call it a day. You know. Yeah, I want victory style five. Um, yeah. Ooh, what about what about like Punkorama or like yeah. or like fat like the Fat Records comps? I could that would that or, would uh, satisfy. short music for short people where all the songs are like under a minute or oh, something yeah. like that, thirty seconds. Yep. Coffee mug, the Descendant song. Uh huh. Yeah. So good. So we none of us have actual. We just want compilate. We're cheating essentially. Porter, I feel like you. Can uh, have, well, I feel like you have an answer good for this. Dan would. I would do. Nine Inch Nails, Paul Simon. I can't think of a third one. Ooh, let's know. try to get. Let's try to guess each other's. Dan, I'm gonna try to guess yours, and then Dan, you try to guess Travis, and then Travis try to guess Kyle. Dan, I'm oh, gonna say. Travis is gonna be. Dan, you're gonna go with um, Revolution. Um, the Scorpions. And. No effects. Probably not. Uh, One of three, at least. You don't know him at all. <laughs> no. Some friend. No. Mm. I mean, those are all good, but. But you're I don't not going to listen to them the, forever. Uh, yeah. I'd probably go. Yeah, I'd probably have to do something a little bit. On the reggae side, I'd probably go older. I'd probably do like a Toots and a Maytals. Yeah. You know, something a little bit more classic y. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I would do other than that, to be honest. Queen, maybe Queen kind of scratches a lot of itches. Queen and uh, yeah, or maybe even uh, uh, Creedence Clearwater Revival. They uh, they got a lot wow. of good jams. That's I thought, true. I thought for sure it was going to be like Attila, um, something like Ooh. that. Yeah, Dan, try to guess Travis. See if you're as bad at this game as I am. Fuck. All right, Travis is going to want Prince. He's going to want um. Ooh, I'll we'll go with maybe Radiohead. And it's a good call. Ooh, let's get something. I, I guess I'm gonna go Deftones, Tones, but it's probably something else. But we'll go with those three. You're you're not far off. Because I was like, as you were saying it, I was trying to like think of the three that I would pick. Prince would be one of them. Radiohead would definitely be a candidate. Yeah. Um, same. But I'd probably go Prince, The Police, and then like. Something like, I don't know, Sepultura. Okay. okay. So you, you want some metal in there? I want some heaviness in there, yeah. Okay. Hit around that island. Yeah, so, I have some heavy. Yeah. So, Travis, yeah. I was going to have you try to do Kyle, but you'd probably have a better luck with me. You trying me, and then I'll try Kyle. Well, I was just, well, I would say Kyle, I would assume there'd be some Zeppelin in there. Maybe. Warm, warm. Okay. I'm, I wouldn't be opposed to that, but yeah, you're there's there's one to oh. two that that are are in that vein. Let's see what Brandon's right. got. Yeah, Brandon, what what do you got? I would say Petty. Oh, one hundred percent. That's number one. <clears throat> um, number one, Petty for sure. Um, I would say Delta Spirit. Okay. And I would they're, say, they're a fave. And I would say, um, fuck. You, I was going to say something like Zeppelin too, but um, thrice. <laughs> oh, no, yeah. See, that, that's the tough thing about this is that even as I'm hearing all these lists that I'm there, like, oh. like thrice. Yeah, thrice wasn't on, on my, in my three, but I mean, I wouldn't mind that. Who's your three? But Pe Petty for sure is number one. The vein, the similar vein that I would, I was hinting at Zeppelin would be Floyd. Pink Floyd, I feel like could be in there. And then <clears throat> um, Deftones is up there. And, and uh, my, my final rogue would be Schoolboy Q. Okay. Because I, 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 I'm a big hip hop rap fan. Really? So I would need, yeah. But I mean, yeah, Deftones is in there. I would need, I, I feel like. To cover more ground, it would be Petty, Deftones, Schoolboy. So I get a little bit of different genre. Not too shabby. That's good. This game's hard. Mm. This game's a really hard game. I feel like it'd take a while to get on that island because you have to pick the three. It'd probably take a sec to really <laughs> whittle it down. You know what I mean? I feel honored that a lot of these people are – I think it's just because they're on my channel, but they're like, we're in a lot of these bands three. But – um. 
Spice Girls definitely is not in there. Kyle, what's for yours me. for for Brandon? Yeah, what's what's yours for me, Kyle? Ooh. <clears throat> um first popping in my head that I don't know where it ranks, but would be maybe Tears for Fears. Mm. I don't know. See, Isn't I, that the I love I just love that one record. The well it's the oh yeah. Isn't it there? I mean, I feel like they're essential. Yeah. Um Ooh, I would actually, I'd say Delta for you. Yeah. Um, maybe, uh, shoot, that's a toughie. Maybe. Um, hey, oh, yeah. Oh, uh, damn it. Blanking on their name, <laughs> but uh, two piece, more current kind of hip hop y rock alternative band. 21 Pilots. 21 Pilots. Yeah. You, don't, you, don't you love them? I do love that band. I do love that band. But this is an all-time question. This though. is all time. This is like, like I only get they need to like a depth of catalog. Yeah, I only have like two records of theirs that I really love. Dan, what did you say? Did you have a, an idea? Tom Petty. Yeah. Yeah, that was that's my go-to for you for sure. I think I would go Petty, Delta, and like probably like In Flames for the heavy, ah. the heavy, heavy notch. That's probably my Queen's it. Queens of the Stone Age would be on my list. <laughs> That's as well, really good. Oh yeah, as, as well as Kyle's. Yes. <laughs> Creed. It would. Stained. And more Creed. And I think Kendrick. Them. Kendrick for me. Kendrick, Radiohead, Ooh. and um, Nine Inch Nails would do it for me because you're getting kind of like three separate genres with extensive back catalogs. Kendrick would be tight. Kendrick is a good one as well. Because yeah, lots, that's a good that's a good mix. There's lots to listen to. That's fucking tight, guys. That's really fucking tight. Great good question. One, big pancake. Good one. Good question. Travis would definitely have trapped on his. You shut Ugh. your goddamn Too soon. mouth. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> trapped on an island. This is Travis's favorite dude at, at, at our meet and greets. Go ahead, Travis. Hey, what's Wait, up, which man? One? Great to meet you, man. Oh, oh, awesome. Hey, cool. Yeah, you want to take a photo of us? And enter Travis. <laughs> I love that guy. I love that guy. There's a lot of them. Yeah. So excited until the fucking camera comes out. I love that shit. That's great. <laughs> well, great. Hey, well, this has been really fun, guys. I appreciate you guys all hanging out with me and hanging out with my people and answering questions. Um, do you Is guys it have... over? No, it doesn't have to be. Did you guys have any other questions that you guys want to ask? I don't know how you guys are on time. I guess I'm getting a temperature on how you guys are for time. Well, my phone is getting a little low on the old bat. I got the old low power mode that just came on. Okay. I got well, a I got a, I'm not sure how much longer I got. Well, we'll see how much longer Dan lasts. Travis, you're welcome to go pee if you need to. <laughs> yeah, I'm Porter, a little pee-pee. Porter's erect and ready to fucking get it. He's like, ask me more questions. Dude, I mean, we do. <laughs> we stream on Twitch for like five hours. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I don't. This is just. <laughs> yeah, this is, this like is a, it. What? You're like a marathon, dude. Um, yeah, Porter's used to the long streams. Well, ask more questions then. Ask more questions. Um, this is a good one that I have for Kyle. Speaking of long streams, you got a P two. At least they muted. They muted so you couldn't hear the stream. <laughs> I couldn't hear the fucking stream. When you're back, uh, would love a show with the set. That'd actually be a fun idea. We've we've talked about the concept of that in a live stream, but not but whatever. But doing a a, a list of set list of songs that we've never played before, like all songs we've never played. I think mm. I'd only do that on live stream because then it wouldn't be Snoozeville. Yeah, it'd be <laughs> the worst show <laughs> ever. show ever. Thank you, Elwin, for gifting. I appreciate you. Um. Oh, Shay wants to know um, why right. why Dan didn't send him a goddamn uh, wall flag for his mystery gift because that's all he wanted. <laughs> he got one of the mystery packs. <laughs> He's just wishing for a wall flag. Didn't get a wall flag. The answer is also a mystery. Yeah, <laughs> it's yet to be known. Yet to be known. That's tight as fuck. Kyle, are you in your new house? Or are you? Oh, you're in your new house. Yeah, this is the new one. Is that a new ceiling fan? New crib? No, that was here. It's good to know. But but a perk of the, the house is a ceiling fan in every room. That's tight. I like small that. selling cool, point. It's yeah. very cool. <laughs> <laughs> I hope he stage dives onto the couch. Please stage dive onto the couch. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 
Yes, thank you, Travis. Thank you, Travis. Uh, okay, I have a question. Did you see? Did you see that? <laughs> I saw it. Was you see that? Dude, that was How did sick. it go, Trav? How did it go on that on that P venture? Uh, you ever like you have you hold your pee for so long and you like start peeing and then you think you're done, but then there's like another pee session coming in behind it. Mm-hmm. That's aftershock. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. called the aftershock. Drink I had to do a double up. tap. Yeah. <laughs> do you ever do you ever get that double tap, but you don't realize it's there till like you get a double tap, but then like there's still another little like aftershock that you don't know of, and then you you pee a little bit in your pants. Do you ever get that? You've you've already zipped up. You're already there, and then you're like, wait a second, and then you go check, and you're like, there's pee there. I didn't know, I didn't know there was still pee in there. Do you ever get that? That ever, Just... that ever happened? That ever happened to you? <laughs> No, not nobody. Just me. I guess that's just me. Yeah, just you, man. That's tight. Well, I mean, that's cool for me. I guess I, can, I should probably get that checked out. Yeah, hmm. I should probably get that checked. Seventy out. men or something else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Kyle, this is a good one for you, being the newest okay. to the to the band, and I guess it can be. We'll go from from the newer perspective because obviously you toured with us a lot. You've toured with me a lot, but as a Treyu, touring with us as a being playing in the band so we'll go back to last summer really first like like little things you noticed about each dude that you maybe maybe didn't know before actually like touring with us in like in the band Mm. because i mean obviously it's different like when you're like crew like you're working a lot during the day you know what i mean like you're busy a lot more but when you're like playing you you there's really fuck all to do all the time so you spend more Mm. time Something about even anything you noticed about any of us that you were like, oh, okay, Dan does that, or this is what Travis does. I, I, I mean, nothing's really coming to mind because I don't know. I feel like even, I mean, not not a whole lot. Cha- the only thing that that changed was w- which was incredible uh, from working for you guys to actually playing with you guys is is time during the day. I feel like we got, I, you know, not having to load in as early and and have that extra work yeah scooter boys was incredible but yeah i mean i i i don't think maybe i'm not (laughs) that observant but i mean i can't think of anything specifically like about like personality wise or anything like that that i learned you know i feel like it was more so than anything it was just like more quality hangs and like getting to know more and more and more stuff like that he already knew how handsome we all are. Yeah. 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 That's not, I that's mean, not shocking. When you see it, you know, coming out of the shower though, it's a whole new thing. You know what mm, I mean? Hot mm. and ready, hot and ready. Little Caesars. Um, someone wants to know uh, if any of us have odd or interesting pre-show rituals. I think we're pretty normal in my eyes as a band. It's pretty normal, but I, I had this discussion um, the other day uh about our pre-show rituals and what the to me the most interesting thing about it is i think you think like a a hard rock band or a metal band um before shows is probably like maybe having some drinks or like listening to fucking loud music getting pumped up which sometimes it is i feel like those nights when we have like a shitty dressing room so we're in the bus we end up like circle pitting on the bus and like you know moshing to hate breed and like going off and like getting all crazy Maybe like me or Dan, we'll have like a cocktail or Kyle will have like a beverage and kind of getting loose. Dan and Travis are playing guitar, or whatever. But the best thing is, no matter how loud or crazy it is, you pan the room and right before we go on stage, Porter McKnight is meditating. <laughs> and just sitting in a chair. Every show. Every show. And the, the, the dude gets to his absolute center before he goes out and goes full fucking animal. But as a band – if you were to look from the outside in to be like, Oh, this looks like a dressing room. Like it looks as if Porter's just taking a quick snooze in the corner, <laughs> but really he's fully aware of everything that's happening. And he's, he's, he's meditating. It's, it's a thing. It's a thing. It's definitely a thing. Like stretching. That's a meditating. skill. That's a, yeah. Uh, yeah. I always laugh. Cause like I'll do like, like yoga, soccer stretch combo sort of thing. And many people that's worked for us over the years, years have walked by and been like are you okay did you fall like did you hurt yourself 
Like the way I'm stretching, there's like like Ben. Remember the drum tech Ben? Yeah. Every time he was like, "Oh fuck!" Oh, he's just stretching. Okay. Like he thought I like fell off the stage or something. Yeah, it looks like you fell off of like a 20 foot thing and landed in that position. Yeah, Travis usually just pauses the video game and goes on stage. <laughs> yeah, maybe a little bit of guitar. <laughs> you know, it's, yeah. you, you know, Dan's warming up and he's getting ready for a show. You start, <laughs> you, you start to see, you start to see show close, and then you start to hear a metronome really slow which means he's going to start playing guitar and then you smell hairspray and you know, it's time to party for dinner. <laughs> and you hear the same or whatever you're playing over and over. It's so good. Yeah. Oh, hi dog. Yeah. I think it's pretty normal though. Uh, this is a good question. Actually, since you guys are like lifelong friends, essentially, what's the dumbest fight we've ever had? Good girl with each other I, I don't know that we've had like fights with each other like big fights. you and i had a, you and i had a dumb fight one time brandon did we i think i know what you're talking about we were it was like on our first tour and i think we just everyone was just kind of frustrated with each other just from being in a van driving a gazillion hours a day every day and for whatever reason we were at some restaurant and we both had to poop and we were like both uh, just it was just like this race to like no i'm going to the bathroom no i'm going to the bathroom and i got in there before you and i like go in there and like you're like kept turning the lights off on me and like throwing stuff at me. And then you went in there afterwards. So I started throwing stuff at you and it just started escalating till we, um, <laughs> we came outside. And I think you uh, put ice down my shirt or something like that, <laughs> or I put ice down your shirt. And then, uh, then I tried to punch you in the face and uh, I missed. And oh, then so it got <laughs> serious. <laughs> it got serious. I do. Yeah. I do remember this. And I remember it cause it was like out in the parking lot. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I mean, I it happened, it, yeah, like, it happened like right in front of the uh, right in front of the rest. We like just got out front after like we'd been, you know, going back and forth, throwing each other stuff at each other while trying to go to the bathroom, <laughs> turning the lights off so you didn't couldn't see while you're wiping. I love. I remember it. Dan. Dan <laughs> had to like literally jump to swing at you. I love yeah, that. Like, I missed. missed. I love that it's like <laughs> you turn the lights off of me and then you put like ice in my shirt. So I tried to punch you in the face. <laughs> That's so good. I don't even, I like very, very vaguely remember that. That's a good one though. That's a really, yeah. really good one. I, I, I barely remember that. I remember with our old bass player, Chris, I almost got into a fist fight with him because I was, we were in the van and I was in the back of the van talking to Ash and I was calling her babe and we had just met and I was calling her babe on the phone and he didn't like that. He didn't like that. I was calling this like new girl that I met babe for some reason and kept like shit talking me and i was and, it, and i was like i told him to like shut the fuck up and he like called me out of the van to fight and he started taking out his plugs and everything and like going i was like hey i think i need to go i think i'm gonna get in a fight with chris and i remember everyone in the van was just like yeah 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 it was like hoping it would happen but it didn't obviously but like we almost got in a fist fight for no reason at all do you remember that who who yeah. would have won that fight? I that know. hypothetical. <laughs> Woody, wherever you are in reference to my finger, for yeah. sure. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, if you know if you know Chris, he's like five five, a buck thirty maybe. Like he's a a skinny like little dude. He was scrappy because he was a wrestler, but I think I probably could have handled it. Yeah. But it's a one, the, one punch B Sal. The, the weird thing though is that no one in the van was like, "Yo, guys, stop." Everyone was just like, yeah. <laughs> Put Pokemon! Out, getting, their, getting their popcorn. They're like, oh, sick. This is going to be tight. I don't think I've ever, no one's ever gotten in a fight with Travis. Travis has yelled at us before, though. I remember that. Well, it was outside. In uh, North of, Carolina. Yes. We were outside of a show in North Carolina. And, uh, were we mad about the show? Or is it me? No, and, you, you and Chris were like, just had like a full on meltdown at each other in front of everybody at the show. Yeah. And I was like, Oh my God, this is fucking embarrassing. Stop it. Yeah. He full dadded <laughs> us hard. <laughs> you both stop it. I think we were both so shocked that he yelled that we were like, okay. Yeah. Sorry. sorry. I think, I, I think I was shocked that I yelled. Yeah. I don't remember. What I love how happened. all of these stories are like first two tours. First, like two <laughs> yeah. years of the band. Yeah. Like we got it all we, out of our system. To, exactly. Yeah. That was also that was the same show we were playing with Bleeding Through and Brandon Chapetti, Brandon Chapetti like had gotten off stage. We just we knew them obviously because they're from Orange County and like yeah. we, that was our first show with them out on tour. 
and we like asked Brandon how the show went for him. And Brandon Schipetti's response was as a symbol of my discontent diet fucking Coke. And he took a drink of his diet Coke. And we we're like, what? So then it turned into a lyric later in Brandon's other band, Catalyst yeah. Response. They had, had a breakdown, like right before yeah. the breakdown. It was like, as a symbol of my discontent diet yeah. fucking Coke. Yeah. Go. <laughs> I, I wonder if he too. knows that. I don't think so. Maybe he'll watch this Yeah, I don't know if now. he knows that. Maybe he'll watch this. I doubt it. But if he does, that's funny. Yeah, that's good. That, no, that so the band, it wasn't a Catalyst Response song. It was a, I was in a, for like three months, I was in a hardcore band that I played guitar in called Kill Death Die. <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah. Hell yeah. It was a Kill Death Die song, which is the dumbest. It was in an X Strict X or. Yeah. <laughs> D- one time we had a straight edge band called X Strict X for like two weeks. Dan really just wanted to be in the band. So he was straight edge for like a week and a half. And then he smoked weed and we're like, Dan. And he was like, whatever. <laughs> whatever man you're out of the we band do? Man. you're out of the band man so good whatever man it. that's a great story that's a great story I, I didn't remember almost any of those dan i didn't remember you and me i vaguely remember it now i remember the travis thing but i, I thought it was me and al i didn't think it was me and chris uh but vaguely but i don't think we've gotten any fights like in the last 15 years i think anything that's ever happened where someone was a dickhead over time with tour you realize like not all days are good and everyone has bad days and you just kind of like give them space Mm -hmm. or like i don't like me personally i don't want to tell the story on here but like someone did super something super fucked up to me once Mm -hmm. and i just like i understood that that was their problem they were wrong and i kind of moved on from it and i had to grow from it instead of just being like fuck you and get a bit in their face so yeah, that, I, that's how I feel like we don't have that many stories of that because we've grown past that. They're all from the young days. Yeah, we're fucking like bros and shit now, dude. Now someone will be like, hey, man, that was fucked up. And you're like, I'm sorry. And then we kiss, <laughs> we kiss about it. And it's, it's fine. I think once we introduced kissing to each other, too, it got a lot better. We're always just kissing about it. Yeah, we just what if a hug will mend a little wound, but a kiss will definitely make you feel better. Bezos, yeah. man. Besos, that is a fun fact. Dan will just because this is the kind of thing we like to do is uh, I'm 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 the one of the band that will gladly and happily annoy anyone who needs to be annoyed. I think that's accurate. Needs. Yeah. Needs is a relative term. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So Dan will always be like, Brandon, besos, how about some besos? And then I'll just kiss <laughs> Travis all over his face. But I think he he likes it though. He says he doesn't like it, but I'm convinced he likes it. I do not uh, like it. Yes, you do. Anyways, next question. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna hash, I'm gonna hashtag me to you. Mm-mm. That's hey, not uh, a- <laughs> as long as you mean that you're gonna Bezos me too. You're gonna Bezos me too. I don't want to work in a toxic environment. <laughs> uh, toxic like the Britney Spears song. You know Bitch. What I'm I don't know what that means, but all right, I'm, uh, we're gonna do two more questions and then we're gonna call this. Okay. Um, the first question is. Uh, favorite food to eat on tour? Sushi. Sushi. Porter? I'm a fan of Chipotle, but for obvious reasons, it's also a dangerous move sometimes. Uh, But it delivers, and there's usually a lot of them, and I love Chipotle. Yep. How about us? When we get that good carrot cake from some ranch. Which was Mm. every day. (laughs) No, because some are better than others. Like damn, true. what was so true. like the what was the one that we had that was just like fucking top shelf carrot cake? Where was that from? There was one in um, there's it was in Texas, um, like San Antonio or something. One of yeah, somewhere in Texas had incredible on on the rider. It was just like from the grocery store carrot cake, but it was just hit all the fucking the yeah, things the you want from all a good the, carrot cake. All the boxes, yeah. Mm-hmm. So when yeah, when we can come across a good. Uh, nice carrot cake or anything involving sugar really for me yeah. i love uh i'm just going around the circle because in my view well how it is on twitch it's just a big circle uh but uh i love it's not a specific meal but i love on i love family dinner on tour like we do oh on, that on like, is a good call most days off we'll do family dinner and we take our whole crew out um to like a nice meal myself or dan usually pick it um, which means it's usually like at least a little bit pinky out 
Um, and myself and Dan usually do most of the ordering, which means it's a lot. So we just have a fun time, get like good cocktails, like three of each appetizer and just like go for it. And everyone has a good time. So I look forward to that in every city that are like wherever we do it is a lot of fun for me. I also yeah, look forward that last Australia was a good one. The last tour we did. Yeah. The Australia tour was like, that was uh, top notch lunch boys. We did, yeah. we called it. Well, it's funny. We really started a gang in Europe. It was scooter boys. And then in Australia it was lunch boys. But we would go, you know, four, three or four of us, and maybe like Norm, our our tour manager, would come too, and just get some nice lunch. We were doing like top, went to some tapas place in like Melbourne or wherever it was, and got like literally everything. We got everything on the menu. We did, yeah, between the two tables. Yeah, that was crazy. Yeah, we did the same that thing. One in like in Perth, Perth, though. Perth yeah. was that was fun. really good with the lamb with the mint thing on it. Whew. Ooh. We went to, we went to some spot that Dan found, and he's like, it's kind of pinky out. It's on like the rooftop of some nice hotel. And it, oh, a, that one. There was a dress code, and Dan showed up in board shorts and a sleeveless T-shirt, and then I had like shorts and like same thing, like maybe a sleeveless tee, and they let us in somehow. They were like, "That was Adelaide, Adelaide, right?" Yeah, yeah, that was good. Oh, that was a good one. As for, so, basic foods, though, I look forward to is I would say mostly Philadelphia, Lorenzo's Pizza and cheesesteaks from Jim's. Yep, that's like the one Ooh. food that I'm like, yeah, I want to get that every time I go. What about you, Kyle? Favorite food on tour? Um. I would I would say it's less of a favorite food and more of like a favorite stops, similar to the cheesesteak kind of vibe. But um, Des Moines uh, Zombie Burger is Eat. one of one of my that favorites that I look forward to. Good burgers, good ambiance with the whole zombie vibe. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, um, I never I'm never this. I feel like I don't know if this is being being more of a, a van touring experience that i've i've had thus far in my career more so than bus um cracker barrel i feel like is a is a nice little treat mm-hmm. but that i mean mm. yeah That's order cool. what's that what's that burrito spot Beto's. In, uh, I think it's, Beto's. yeah yeah those, those breakfast Where, burritos where's salt that lake? Salt, salt lake city oh. utah it, it supposedly it's gone downhill because we haven't had it in a while but this place was so good. The breakfast burritos were so good. We'd have friends from Salt Lake fly it in to us. When they got on the plane, we would get have them buy like 27 burritos and bring it to us in LA. And they were, oh. And when we'd go through there, we'd buy like, like 20. 10 each. We yeah, and just like thing. reheat them. We always do the same thing with cheesesteaks too. Like we go through yeah. Philly and like our fridge is All full right. of cheesesteaks for like three, four days. Yeah, so everybody just eat cheesesteaks for days. <laughs> yeah. Fucking awesome. All right. I'm going to go one more question to close it out. This is a kind of a fun one. Um, but um, what is a band that we had a great time with on tour that we didn't expect to? What's a band that we've toured with that like we didn't expect to bro down with, but was like a lot of fun. Um, for me, a lot of that. Uh, one of them was uh, strung out Yeah. back in 2005 on warp tour. Like I thought it'd be one of those things where like we were on tour with Mike Hem and Avenged and Thrice and all these bands and figured we'd be hanging with all those people. And we did here and there, but like I found myself hanging out with Strung Out a lot and smoking a lot of pot yeah. with those guys. And like they're, they're like, I grew up, you know, a lot of us grew up listening to Strung Out um, in the nineties and stuff. So like, it was very surreal one and uh, two, like just very unexpected that that, that was the band that, we, uh, that, you know, for me, I kind of latched onto um is is my daily hangout partners yeah that's tight Kyle. yeah um i don't know if it's it was it wasn't necessarily unexpected but um one of the one of the like cooler bands like more accommodating and just super fun to hang out with um was in my other band dead america dead american we toured with bear tooth bear tooth are some of the coolest dudes super fun to hang with and us being the opening band they always took care of us and yeah That's great tight. band great dudes good dudes. yeah, yeah. I, th- I think uh mine mine is like probably is not with this band because i like a lot of the bands that i enjoyed hanging out with with this band we were like already friends with but a band that i was just loved being out with was nothing more nothing yeah more, like we spent a lot of time with them and they were just same thing like from being from the perspective of opening band, like so accommodating, so friendly, like hung out all the time, like during the day, during the night, like 
it was like a full on like friend thing, like really quick. Yeah, so definitely one of those bands. True. How about us? Um, just Tanner Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't ex- Tim in general. I didn't expect to like you, but I do. But I love the guy. Yeah, he's great. He Legend. Was, he, Tanner. So Tanner used to play um, for a lot of people, and he used to drum tech for us off and on. Uh, but now he plays drums for In Flames. Um, he would literally like rub my back and arms before I went on stage. It was fucking cr- amazing. Kyle, you should. We should request someone that does that because I want that for you. Yeah, I could. Yeah. I could. Yeah, that's a good thing. I yeah, could use he, that. He always got weird when I tried to get the hands to go south, but I can't ask for every. I can't have everything. You know what I mean? Which is unfortunate. I mean, you could. I could, but yeah, he did get fired for that, but. Still a good guy, a really good guy. Porter, I would say it's the most surprising one was would have been Trivium on that uh, what was it Family Values tour because uh-huh. I didn't know who they are, I never heard of them. And then like most of that tour, we were like drinking wine with Matt Hafey in the back of the bus playing video games and just hanging out. Uh-huh. They were they were that's just one that pops in my head. I think it's probably because I can see them live over here yeah. on. Um, and then. The most recent one would be a weird like super group band called the sound of animals fighting that has people from uh you know anthony green from seosin and circus survive and rx bandits people and a couple other just random people over the years and they are just like fucking awesome human beings and i toured with them as a videographer it was really really fun and especially rx bandits so we they we've never toured with them with a tray but they're really really fun humans to be around yeah that's tight a fun, a fun thing involving you too that I think is hilarious is that one, it was surprising to me because not that you were hanging out with them, but uh, realizing how many nerds are in bands was on Warp Tour. We go to day off, days off, and like oh. you, like you were hanging out with like the Mike Chem dudes, the Thrice dudes, like all of the headliners on on like the big bands were all hanging out playing like Magic the Gathering. We would sit, no, World of Warcraft. Oh, World of we Warcraft, would sit yeah. in uh, in hotel rooms with like half of Thrice, half of my Kim, like, you know, like just sitting there drinking Diet Cokes and eating Cheez-Its and playing Warcraft for 16 hours. Super it was, rock, uh, yeah. rock star lifestyle. Yeah. I actually I actually mentioned to Matt the other day because my, one of my fondest memories of that tour with Trivium was how purple his lips were all the time. All the and, time, and he was like, "Was I, I was drinking wine back then?" I was like, "Oh yeah, you were drinking wine." Was that drunk teeth? Yeah, it was. Is drunk that where te- that came from? Yeah, he would have he would have purple teeth every night, anytime past eight o'clock. Yeah, because <laughs> he was just drinking red wine. He's like, "Damn, really?" Like I had purple teeth. We're like, "Yeah, all the time." It was tight though. He was a fun hang. But <laughs> speaking of fun hangs, this has been a fun hang. Porter, are you going? Are you on today? No. Okay. Tomorrow. I was gonna rave oh, you, seven. bro. All right, well, Porter's on Side tomorrow it. at 7. Uh, no one else in this band is on Twitch. We've been trying, but you could fo- if you're already here, you follow me. You can follow Porter as well, Porter McKnight. Um, but, yeah, thank you guys for hanging with me. I hope everyone enjoyed this. I enjoyed it. Um, we don't have to have band practice anymore for live stream events, so we don't see each other nearly as much as I would like. Um, but uh, I-, I love you guys. Same. Thank you for having us, B. I miss yeah. you. Let's just all say bye together. We'll say thank you, stream. See you next week. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank you, stream. See you next week. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody.